Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about why you are where you are in life and how changing a few simple beliefs could change everything forever. Before I get into telling you guys how we change beliefs, I gotta talk to you guys about how we form beliefs. To properly understand how we form beliefs, I want to talk to you about what a belief is and how important a belief can be. The Oxford Dictionary defines a belief as an acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists. So how do we form these beliefs? Before we talk about how we form these beliefs, it's important to understand how the brain functions. So the brain has alpha and beta brain waves. Alpha is the sleep state or the hypnotic state. Beta is the awakened state. The alpha state and the beta state have one difference in them and that's called the critical factor. The critical factor is what allows you to make decisions, what allows you to say, hey, this is real, this is not real, this is true, this is false. And the critical factor exists only in beta brain waves, not in alpha brain waves. Let's go deeper. When you're in a sleep or a dream state, have you ever been in a dream and seen perhaps upside down buildings or people flying or something that you know without a shadow of doubt is not real? But in the moment, while you're in the dream, you don't question it, do you? No, 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 you accept it to be reality. It's only when you come out of that dream state and you come into reality and you come into the beta brain wave that you form that critical factor and the critical factor allows you to now see, wait a minute, that wasn't real. Flying people is not real. Upside down buildings are not real. And now you look back and you say, okay, that was a dream. But when you're in the alpha brain wave, you just accept everything to be reality. You accept everything around you to be the truth. When you're in beta brain wave, you actually start questioning things. Let's go even deeper. Here's the crazy part. From the ages of zero to seven, you don't have any beta brain waves. It's all alpha. It's all sleep or hypnotic state. That basically means you're under hypnosis from the age of zero to seven, or you're asleep. This means that everything that your parents say to you, everything that your teachers say to you, everything that your peers say to you, any external influence, anything that happens to you, anything that's said to you, you don't question it. You simply accept it to be a part of reality. That's what forms beliefs. Now, our parents, as loving as they are, they may have said something to us like, you don't deserve that, you're not good enough. Now, when they say this to us between the age of zero to seven, with all the love in their heart, and they probably didn't know this either, they form beliefs for us, and those beliefs then dictate how we live our lives. Imagine going through your life with the belief of you're not being good enough. How is that showing up for you in different areas of life? It gets buried deep inside the unconscious mind. Now, one of the prime directives of the unconscious mind is to protect you. And the unconscious mind is gonna do everything it can to protect you around these beliefs that you have. And these beliefs are the core root of what your being is. So your unconscious mind has a duty to make that come true. So if your belief is that I'm not good enough, your unconscious mind is gonna do everything around you to make you believe that you're not good enough. That's crazy. Now, let me ask you this. If I asked you to go on a 12-story building and I said, jump off this building, gravity is not real, what are you gonna tell me? You're probably gonna look at me and say, you're crazy, gravity is real, I'm not jumping off this building, I'm gonna die. And you're right, gravity is real, please don't go jumping off buildings. Some of you right now are thinking that I'm crazy, right? No, don't worry, I'm going somewhere with this, stick it out with me. Growing up, how many of you have heard the phrase, money doesn't grow on trees, or money is the root of all evil? Now, let me ask you this, if you truly believed at an unconscious level that money is the root of all evil, do you think you're going to do more to attract more of it or stay the hell away from it? That's right. Unfortunately, when you have limiting beliefs or disempowering beliefs, that's what they do. They hold us down. Our unconscious mind has a function. The function of the unconscious mind is to make all of our beliefs into reality. If your belief is that money is the root of all evil, you're not going to have more of it. How many of you know people that no matter how much money they have in their life, I mean, they could go and win the lottery and they'd still be broke. We all know some of those people. On the flip side, how many of you know people that they make barely enough for making a living and they always seem to have money? How is that? It's a belief. It's an understanding at an unconscious level. When you have that level of understanding at an unconscious level about money, about abundance, about things like that, you start to behave differently. So if you've been programmed to think that money is the root of all evil, you're going to do everything in your conscious mind to stay as far away from it as you possibly can. Now this is the secret that the rich have learned. And then this is why when you look at rich kids and rich parents, they give their kids these values because they understand the power of money. Why is it that when you talk to millionaires and billionaires, I've got a lot of millionaire friends. 
when I talk to them, they're telling their kids, they're showing them the power of money. They're bringing that positive mindset into money. Most households, especially in America, most households, the biggest problem is money. That's the biggest conversation that we have negative emotions around. If your kids are growing up between the ages of zero to seven with negative emotions around money, that's forming a belief deep down inside within them. You're screwing them up for the rest of their life without even knowing it. I mean, with all the love in your heart, if money's not there, money's not there, but how are you choosing to look at it? Are you choosing to look at it and say, we can't afford this, we can't afford this, we can't afford this, we can't afford this. That forms beliefs. And those beliefs are what's gonna dictate how you manage your life. How about instead we change that into an empowering belief? How can we afford this? What can we do to afford this? All right, maybe you need to sell this toy to be able to buy this other toy. It's all about the mindset and the rich have understood this. And this is why the rich kids grow up with a different money mindset. Now, if you were born into a poor family, if you were born into a family that didn't have the right money mindset, that's not your fault. You can't do anything about that. However, if you continue to keep on to that mindset and hold on to those negative beliefs, that's on you, buddy. That's on you. You gotta do something to fix that. And you have to work on your mindset before anything else. This is what most rich people have understood. Why is like motivational speaking such a big thing? Why are all these millionaires, billionaires doing these big stage talks and interviews? Why is that? It's because they understand this. They understand that you have to first conquer the money game in here. When you conquer the money game in here, or it could, this could be with anything, I'm just using money as an example. When you conquer it in here, the physical reality becomes easy. Our language is a powerful tool. Most of us seem to think that we use our language to describe the reality around us, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We actually use our language to create our reality. Whatever we say is what happens to us. If you're gonna continuously say, I can't afford this, I can't afford this, I can't do this, or I'm not capable of that, I'm not good enough, I'll never have that, you're right, you never will. But if you change your way of speaking around it, if you change your language around it, and you're like, okay, how can I have that? How can I do this? How can I have this? That's what shows up for you. You start seeing ways that you didn't see before. Everything exists. How did Jeff Bezos make it? He wasn't born into a rich family. It's a mindset. Elon Musk, it's a mindset. Warren Buffett, it's a mindset. You ask any successful person, they'll tell you it's 80% in the head. And of course, I'm just talking about money right now and business specifically. This is true of all areas of life. If you want to achieve something, if you want to change your belief, it starts from internal. Now, when we have limiting beliefs and negative emotions, which we all do, so don't even try denying it. We all have limiting beliefs and negative emotions. Realizing it is step one. Once you realize it, you can let go of the negative emotions. Wouldn't it serve you better to preserve the positive learnings instead, so that if you needed them in the future, they'd be there? Absolutely. I think that by preserving the positive learnings from any incident that happens to you or happens for you, you're able to understand that life is constantly happening around you for you. Life is happening in a way that serves you. If you look at it and go, oh my God, my life is this, my life is that, my life is this, my life is that, then that's what's going to show up for you. Be very cognizant of your language that you're using. And if there's certain beliefs that you have, understand that, hey, I may have limiting beliefs around this. And do belief change work. How do you change those beliefs? There are techniques to change these beliefs. If you need help changing these beliefs, there's so many ways to do it online. Just Google it. How do I get rid of a limiting belief? DM me on Instagram. How do I get rid of a limiting belief? I'll help you out. There's all kinds of techniques out there. If you're constantly telling yourself you're broke and that's showing up in your bank account, I don't know what to tell you. Now, this may not be you. Look in your bank account and check it out. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe down below as well. If you guys want to hear more videos like this, uh, leave in the comments. What do you guys want to hear about? What do you hear, want to hear me speaking about? Whether it's business, money, mindset, or whatever it is, let me know in the comments so that I can reach out to you guys. If you guys want to reach out to me, if you have any questions, if you want to, some help with limiting beliefs, some coaching, or anything around that, feel free to hit me up on Instagram as well. I'm more than happy to serve the community. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.